There is a new APA report out, American Psychological Association report out. The APA is just a pathetic organization. I mean, that, that organization is a political hackery organization par excellence. They've already declared that things that are mental disorders are not mental disorders, specifically out of political pressure with no evidence to back them. Now they have declared that masculinity itself, traditional masculinity itself, is unhealthy to people, which does raise a question. If you're a woman and you think that you are a traditionally masculine man, maybe you're not mentally disordered for thinking you're a man, but if you want to be a traditionally masculine man, now you're mentally disordered. So if you're a transgender man, the mental disorder isn't wanting to change your genitals or anything. The actual mental disorder would be you wanting to be traditionally masculine, obviously. The real problem is that you want to break rocks with a sledgehammer or something. According to the APA, they are telling you people that something is amiss for men, and they say that they that 40 years of research shows that traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful, and that socializing boys to suppress their emotions causes damage that echoes both inwardly and outwardly. Well, it depends on which emotions we're telling you to be stoic about. If we're telling you to stop whining, in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger in Kindergarten Cop, better advice never given, then that seems not terrible. If we are telling you that you should never express your feelings, and obviously that's stupid, but I'm not sure that there are that many people who truly believe that. They say that stoicism is bad, aggressiveness is bad, all these things are bad. How do you know that this is unscientific? Because this team says, it says in the APA report, are you ready for this? This is an actual sentence in a scientific report. Indeed, when researchers strip away stereotypes and expectations, there isn't much difference in the basic behaviors of men and women. That's patently insane. There's not only no evidence to back that, all the evidence is on the other side. Of course, there are differences in basic behaviors between men and women. There are different behaviors with regard to sex. There are different behaviors with regard to marriage. There are different behaviors with regard to child rearing and job prioritization. There are different behaviors with regard to spatial awareness, right? There, there's just different behaviors and activities associated with men and women because men and women are different. But according to the APA, if you train your son to be masculine, then this is really bad. So me telling my son that he ought to be competitive that it's good to be competitive so long as that is properly channeled toward productivity, that's bad. It's bad. What we really need is to feminize our boys. We need to castrate boys. That's the only way. The best world is a world without boys. But we'll see how that world lasts in the face of a world that is unfriendly and chaotic. Masculinity is what tames an unfriendly, chaotic world. It's necessary. It's useful. Not only is it necessary and useful, trying to destroy it is an act of evil. Trying to channel masculinity toward being a gentleman is the task of a civilization. But trying to destroy masculinity in the name of femininity is an act of evil, and it's an act of prejudice and bigotry as well. The fact the APA is saying this sort of stuff is demonstrative of the fact that you should not listen to the APA's anything but a political body. They've undermined all of their own scientific credibility with garbage like this.